Okay guys, this was just to increase the hype of this, you know, coffee, this specialty coffee that has been recently released by Trip Machine. Yes guys, exactly. The brand which used to make leather goods for motorcycles is now entering specialty coffee game and that is amazing for me. Honestly guys, first of all, a huge shout out to one of my subscribers, Nidhi Dubey. I really want to thank you so much. She just recently informed me that, uh, well, Trip Machine has started making these specialty coffees and to be honest, she's much more of a coffee freak than I am. She really takes a lot of coffee. Anyways, coming back to the topic. So, talking about Trip Machine, I really love their products and very soon I'm gonna buy some of their products for my motorcycle Larla and gonna try them. And since I am a leather freak as well, so for sure I'm gonna try them as well. But before that, I was like, let's first try their coffee. And today I'm gonna taste their 650, their most mild coffee. And honestly, guys, I am looking forward to this coffee, not only because it is from Trip Machine, but also because of the reason that their and my vision aligns a lot. They also love motorcycles. They also love leather crafting and creating leather products and i also do that while at the same time i didn't expect it something very similar from them another hobby another passion which we share so yes guys i'm looking forward to them i'm gonna taste this coffee and see for myself is it really any good or not so let's go inside and make a nice cup of pour over and see what kind of flavor notes we're gonna get out of this coffee let's go guys Finally, here we are with a nice cup of pour over straight out of this 650cc from Trip Machine. By the way, it is a little bit filled with water. Thoda pani zada ho gaya, but apologies for that. Anyway, the acidity will be lowered and we could easily get the flavors out of this coffee. So, before starting with this cup, I would like to say that talking about Trip Machine and their vision. Firstly, they started with motorcycle equipments like, you know, handlebar uh, leather stripes which come and then with saddlebags and lot of other leather goods. So being a craftsman, I would like to say I really like their vision and maybe very soon I'll be buying some of those products because I'm really appealed to those products. And yeah guys, that was a really nice vision to start with as a motorcycle enthusiast. And listening to those stories about those uh, handlebar grips I was you know getting enticed and I really found that passion for motorcycling for the products and giving it a little personal touch and then I realized that whoever the person is whoever the founder is is really a motorcycle enthusiast not just making some sort of brand but he is into motorcycling and stuff like that and then eventually they came out with this coffee and I was informed by my friend and I was like well is it that they are actually enthusiastic about this coffee or it is just that they want to grow their business simply so now today I'll be looking towards this coffee and tasting it and seeing what kind of taste I'm gonna get out of this and is it gonna compete with other big giants in the specialty coffee so let's see let's take a small sip I forgot to take the aroma but anyways the very first sip was very light was very mellow was very smooth the very first impressions if I have to give to the people and uh, talking about the smoothness I would say anybody who is new to coffee tasting as well or who is new to black coffee and is taking for, for the very first time would love this coffee so it is a little bit nice and smoother than the previous coffee which we tasted which was sleepy out but yeah for sure it has some kind of substance in it i'm sensing some fruity notes to be discovered as soon as we progress with this but let me take the aroma first a small scent of aroma okay so talking about aroma it is a little bit mellow 
a little bit nice and it would awake you slowly if you're taking this coffee in the morning. It is that kind of aroma that gently wakes you up like a nice touch of mother, not some kind of harsh push that you get from somebody very, which is very rude and harsh. I hope I'm making a nice kind of reference anyways. Talking about this coffee, the aroma is good, the taste is good. So basically, if you are not taking it from the purpose of tasting, it is a really nice coffee in short. But now let's go deep into the flavor notes and see what kind of flavor notes I'm going to get out of it. So I would like to say yes indeed. The very first flavor note is of some nice cooked beans. I know it is it sounds very strange, but I am getting that kind of lightly cooked beany kind of flavor. And along with that, there are certain other flavors as well which might take a little bit of time. See, there's also this kind of flavor note which you'll get out of the soda. I'm not saying you're getting that carbonated flavor, but I'm talking about some kind of fruit flavored soda. If you are drinking something like that, you get this kind of flavor, and it is very nice, it is very mellow and gentle to your palate. And it takes a little bit of time to settle on your palate. So I would say just allow it to settle on your palate smoothly and you will be rewarded by some nice flavors on your back. I think it is a little bit you know roasted at a medium roast. It is not very harsh. Not at all harsh but I would say the flavor notes are also tending a little bit towards chocolatey, milk chocolatey kind of flavor notes and that can only happen when you have roasted a little bit more towards medium see apart from that you'll get a little gentle grape kind of flavor and i'm not talking about sour grapes i'm talking about a real smooth mellow ripe flavor nice ripe flavor of grapes and that grapeish flavor is like a little fermented flavor that you can also get from wine as well. So it's a really good blend of some nice cooked fruits, some ripe fruits, along with a gentle of milk chocolate. So it is a really good coffee. And if you really want to enjoy this coffee, I would say just enjoy it in the morning time and it would wake you nicely if you take coffee in morning take this coffee or if you're someone like me who writes or do other creative things keep this coffee with you and just do whatever your activity is reward yourself with this coffee and it is gonna give you some really nice flavor notes you're gonna enjoy this coffee i'll be putting both the links of trip machine products for motorcycles and trip machine coffee in the description and if you are someone who really likes harsh coffees there are other cc's as well this was this one was 650 cc there are heavy engine coffees as well as they put it uh, there's one 950 cc or something like that or 1100 i don't remember properly the other variants but they are the strong variants if you are into some real strong harsh jittery coffee those are the variants for you do tell me in the comment sections if i should taste those coffees as well and also along with that tell me which other coffee you would like to see or get reviewed by me or tasted by me i'll be watching those comments and i'll do those reviews for you guys as well along with that i would like to say if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more coffee tasting vlogs adventure vlogs because i go on rides as well we recently went for an independence day ride and some nice street photography session i'll see you in the next vlog till then enjoy yourself stay caffeinated and peace
बाकी यार ये शूटिंग वूटिंग करना है ना बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है कई बार इट्स रियली हार्ड टू जस्ट पुट टू कैमराज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड जस्ट टेस्ट एट दैट वेरी मोमेंट सो सब्सक्राइब किया करो